speaking skill is it's really wonderful in many ways, but it is tough uh, in, in a whole lot of ways. So why do we find uh, speaking, public speaking, or speaking on the stage or presentation is a difficult skill? There are a few reasons uh, which are valid reasons. Why do I'm calling it as a valid reason is that it seems that we are really good with presentations and it seems that we are really good with uh, giving public lectures or speeches but when we are on the stage we start finding ourselves that we are lagging and we are unable to bring that impact or, or that proficiency in our presentation or public speaking. Many of these wrong assumptions about ourselves before you come on the stage uh, get just vanished like this when you come on the stage. Because you'll come to know that you are really, really lack a good amount of skills, charisma to be impactful on public speaking. This you can only test yourself when you are on the stage. Until unless you don't appear on the stage in front of 5,000 people, you're never able to test. And you always feel that you're really good. But when you're on the stage, you'll know that that good is not serving you. So I invite people on the stage in front of 100 people or 200 people, and I want them to speak. And if they're able to cross that first hurdle, that means they are reached the base camp. The content is a primary need. The second part, we call it a customization. You know the subject, but you're talking to a general public. That time you cannot use technical cliche. You have to use words and examples, which are generally understood by a large number of people. If you're audiences or students, then you have to use appropriate examples and not to customize your content considering audience. And the third technical thing what you're not good at it is your vocal cord utilizing the language. If you're using, uh, for that matter, any language, Germany, French, every language has got its own rhythm, its own beauty. You need to be good with that particular language. So we looked at a technical side of improving your quality and uh, polishing your quality of uh, public speaking. What are the technical side? Content, the first one, you need to be good with content. Second, you need to customize your content according to your audience. And lastly, you know to customize, uh, not a customize, but you know to bring that efficiency, proficiency of the language, whichever language you're using to speak, you need to sound closer to the native speakers. Now we move towards the psychological barrier. We looked at the technical barrier to become a better public speaker. The first psychological barrier is when you come on the stage, the fear of what others say about me and how they decode me, like do they consider me a good speaker or not. Of course, when you're on the stage, people will carry some opinion, okay? Because that's how people are. That's how we are also. We also comment on other people. So likewise, others also comment. And you need to thicken your skin wherein you get less affected by people's opinion. Of course, it's kind of a difficult, but it's important to start developing thick skin so that you will be less affected by others' opinion about you. The second psychological barrier is when you are on the stage, people are constantly listening to you and evaluating every sentence you say, and they are judging as well. And generally, we humans don't like being judged by others. So, so therefore, we try to avoid those kind of situations where we are being judged, we try to avoid them. 
we want to escape from that place. Therefore, trying to complete our speech as quick as possible and run away from that place. No, you shouldn't do that. You should not bring the psychological thought that how can I quickly finish this talk. If you carry this kind of psychological orientation towards your public speaking, I will tell you that you are going to become unsuccessful until unless you don't make coming on the stage and speaking to people, whether it's 100 people or 500 people or 5,000 people, the number doesn't matter. But the coming on the stage and sharing your thought should be a joyful act and you should love being on the stage. Until unless you don't consider this is a joyful thing and you don't make it as a joyful act, you won't feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable on the stage, it reflects in your body language, your voice, your lack of confidence. So how do you make appearing on the stage and to speak to 5,000 people is a joyful, how you make this a joyous act. You need to kind of shift your mental framework and start considering this is a joyous thing to do.